I will now show the padding technique. Line padding is a technique that we use very, very short stitches along a solid line. This line padding is used for two reasons. One, to give an object a very smooth edge when you have no background to stitch on. It can also be used as an um, underfiller to raise up a petal so it looks like it's over the leaf. In this area, we line pad it around the outside of the petal, stitching right through the actual fiber of the green thread to raise this yellow petal up a little higher. I will now demonstrate the leaf or feather stitch. After we finish line padding our leaf, we are going to do a new technique called leaf or feather and it is done with a satin stitch going from side to side covering over the line padding. Line padding is always, always hidden. You will do half inch stitches once the area gets too long to make a nice smooth edging. You're going to start on one side of your leaf and work up to the top stitching from the center area out towards the outside line padding. When you reach the point of a leaf, it's always nice to cut, take the tail through by scratching to the back, and then begin again a little bit further down. By cutting your thread at the point of the leaf, it creates a fine, delicate appearance. stitch from the outside into the center coming down your leaf again. I will now show the padding technique on the winter scene. The padding technique uses different layers of thread. Here we have already placed a layer of snow. To build this layer up into a padded effect you want to go over the area in the same direction. In our snow scene, we are laying a layer of sparkly thread over top of the snow in the same direction as the under white 